that movie. Yeah, I know, and he ate all of our dumplings. Look, I know it's gonna take more than Thai food and teen movies to sort this out, but if you wanna talk. Talking's the last thing I feel like doing. I figured since you gave him the silent treatment the whole way in the car. What do you want from me? I want you. Let me call you back. Marissa, can you come and get me? I'm at Westwood Cove with Johnny. No, oh, I'm busy. Yeah, I'm getting busy. <laughs> oh, but you don't understand. I'm scared. He's drunk and he's acting like a crazy person. Come up here. You got to see this view. Johnny, oh. just calm down. What's that? Marissa, it's him. I'm telling you. Johnny's in trouble. And I don't know what to do. Um, hold on. She sounds really upset. Miss Johnny? Yeah, he's in trouble. Caitlin? Ryan, you have to help me. He's drunk and he's gonna get hurt. He's really in trouble. Yes, come now. Be right there. Sorry about your dad. Yeah, well, it's like you just can't make it here anymore. I'm not mad, I just, I guess I'm just a little scared. What happens now? Uh, we stick together. Things will be okay. Deal? Deal. like a life-changing scam. Are you telling me we're too late? What are you talking about? Well, it doesn't matter now. Well, this sucks. All right, it's the return of the not-so-ancient mariner. future is, but I know it's with you, here, on some boat in the middle of the ocean. Oh, I love that. Hey, I got good news for you. Well, I have, I have good news and I have some bad news. Yeah, what's the good news? Good news is you're back at Harbor. Really? Yeah, my dad bluffed the dean and he caved on all counts. And the bad news? Well, uh, you're back at Harbor, so... <laughs> and, um... Oh, you know what? Don't worry about it. My getting kicked out was backed up by the whole community. With you, it was just the dean. Besides, public school isn't that bad. This is good news. I think so. Yeah, she's right. You know, we gotta take our victories as they come. Because since that night, we haven't really talked about it. 
Hey, knock it off. Listen, got to get your mind off everything. Who wants to go fishing? Yeah, you guys do the hunting. We'll do the gathering. I like that idea, but we don't have any bait. Uh, wait, no, we have summer. It's a little sardine. No, guys, it's not. Are we going to do a little sardine? No. 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 no, guys. Kiss the world with fingers crossed. I'll kiss the world with fingers crossed. I've been praised, I've been cursed, I've been blamed, and I've won and I've lost. Well, if this is as good as it gets for a while. Yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah, thanks for almost getting my bathing suit wet, Colin. My pleasure. Colin, oh, can't believe that you did that, Colin. <laughs> and tomorrow brings the sun. Uh, this looks familiar. Uh, yeah, well, it shouldn't. They rebuilt it completely after you burnt it down. Model home. Yep. It's for sale. And it's completely deserted. You guys ever wonder what life would be like if Atwood never came here? I definitely never would have talked to Seth. Oh, hell no, me either. <laughs> See, you owe me one, buddy. Me? She'd still be dating a dude who shaves his chest. <laughs> actually interested in that one. <laughs> hey, no offense. None taken, Biatch. It was only until you found out he was from Chino. Exactly. You actually invited me to Holly's Beach House. Oh my god. You said you invited me. <laughs> I'm not faring well on this trip down memory lane. Well, as fun as it usually is making fun of Seth, I think it's time I should go. Ah, uh, here come the waterworks. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So we were talking about that night. Last time we were here, I was leaving, and now you are. That night, did you ever think we'd end up together? You saying it's over? <laughs> you never know, right? I'm sorry for all the craziness. I wouldn't have done it any differently. Except maybe Oliver. <laughs> <laughs> Me too.